Hi, this is Dr. Jim Anderson from Anderson Podiatry Center for Nerve Pain, here to talk to you about what I feel are some of the effects that can occur when you're on drugs like Neurontin or Lyrica. Uh, that can be very detr detrimental to what we then can do when you come in and visit us. And this holds true for any of my colleagues throughout the country or the world that do what I do. And understand that when I look at a patient, particularly in a diabetic state that has neuropathy, in many, many cases, we have a pretty good opportunity to reverse the symptoms of neuropathy. We can get rid of and or eliminate or greatly reduce, I should say, a lot of the burning, the tingling, the numbness, and maybe the weakness that they have by opening up nerve tunnels that are tight. And we stage neuropathy whether it's diabetic or non-diabetic neuropathy into five stages. So over here to my left would be like stage one, very mild symptoms. And over to my right, stage five, kind of at the end stage, uh, you could have very severe neuropathy where you just don't have any feeling. You don't, you don't have pain, but you just kind of had, have dead, numb feet. And oftentimes at stage five also, you'll have quite a bit of weakness. Maybe it's hard to walk, you just don't have that strength like you used to have. But on the journey from stage one over here to stage five, you go through what I call stages you know, two, three, and four. And per particularly at stage three is when many, many people will have a lot of pain, a lot of burning, a lot of tingling, very hard to sleep. And that's when they start reaching for the medication. They go see a doctor, they might be put on Lyrica, they might be put on Neurontin. These drugs can help them. Here's the problem that we see. Those drugs then help them through stages two, three, and four. The nerves are still awake. The nerves are still alive. They're still viable. It's exactly in those stages of neuropathy where I, as a surgeon, that's looking at that patient and saying, hmm, we might be able to open up those tunnels. We might be able to restore a lot of that nerve function. That is the prime time to be thinking about doing that, not at stage five. So what happens oftentimes is these patients come into us, they've already gone through those stages. Now they're coming in, they're not on the drugs anymore. They can sleep fine. Uh, they're not grouchy. <laughs> they're not depressed, they're easy to be around. So they don't have that emotional issue with the pain. But they're over here at stage five at the end and they just have dead numb feet. And the nerves are so dead that there could be a possibility that they're not in that 80 to 90% success range where they would have been around stage three, but rather chances might be as low as 50 or to 80% chance. So I just want you to wrap your head around those ideas. Understand that how I view this, and my colleagues share this oftentimes, is we really see that they've missed that opportunity. And these drugs actually help them get to the point where the opportunity now has been gone. So I want you to consider what I've said. I think that's a very important thing to realize. And, and it's an important thing to realize too that especially in diabetics, those people now are gonna be at greater risk of an amputation. And bottom line, if they just come in earlier, you know, we probably could have helped them and there could have been a possibility of reducing that risk. So uh, very important to understand and please contact us Contact us if you have any further questions or please visit us at AndersonPodiatryCenter.com. Thank you.